Hello all. Today we are going to talk about two of the very important figures of speech, metaphor and simile. We will also talk about their importance in literature with examples and the difference between them. Have you read these lines from William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east and Juliet the sun. Now ask yourself these questions. What does Romeo do? He makes an implicit comparison between the sun and Juliet. Why does he make this comparison? In this line Juliet is compared to the sun. In fact, this figure of speech claims that Juliet is the sun. Of course, the reader understands that Romeo does not believe that Juliet is literally the sun. Instead, the comparison demonstrates the idea that Romeo equates Juliet with the beauty, awe, and life-giving force of the sun. To Romeo, symbolically, Juliet and the sun are the same. They both are beautiful, amazing, and life-giving. A metaphor is a figure of speech that makes a comparison between two unlike things. Examples of metaphor and how it adds to the significance of well-known literary works. Look at this example by Robert Frost. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favored fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice. In this poem, Frost compares end-of-world destructive forces to both fire and ice. These are metaphors that serve as figure of speech in the sense that the poet does not literally mean that the world will end because of fire and ice. Instead, fire represents destructive forces associated with desire such as power, jealousy and anger. Similarly, ice represents destructive forces associated with hate such as prejudice, hostility and isolation. These metaphors are an effective literary device in that it causes the reader to consider that desire and hatred are as destructive as fire and ice. Example 2. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. In this poem, Hughes utilizes metaphor to compare life to a broken-winged bird and a barren field as consequences to the loss of dreams. In the first stanza, Hughes claims that if dreams die, then life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. This is a significant use of metaphor in that it characterizes life without dreams as something fragile that has been irreparably harmed. The metaphor creates an image for the reader of a bird that is wounded, grounded and unable to reach its purpose or potential. If life is this bird, then without dreams it is also wounded, grounded and thwarted in purpose. Hughes utilizes a second metaphor in the second stanza for life without dreams. In this case, when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. This metaphor creates a comparison between life and an empty frozen wasteland. Therefore, due to Hughes' use of metaphor as a literary device in this poem, life without dreams becomes death and a burial ground. Now simile. Simile is a figure of speech in which one thing is likened to another in such a way as to clarify and enhance an image. It is an explicit comparison as opposed to the metaphor where the comparison is implicit, recognizable by the use of the words like or as. There are many common examples of simile used in everyday conversation and writing. Slept like a log. Sly as a fox. Fits like a glove. Cool as a cucumber. Blind as a bat. Light as a feather. Like watching paint dry. Old as the hills, fight like cats and dogs, bright as the sun. 
one of the most common concepts to feature simile as a literary device is love. Look at these examples. Love is like war, easy to begin but very hard to stop. Life without love is like a tree without blossom or fruit. Keep love in your heart, a life without it is like a sunless garden when the flowers are dead. Falling out of love is like losing weight. It's a lot easier putting it on than taking it off. Love is like a beautiful flower which I may not touch but whose fragrance makes the garden a place of delight just the same. Now look at this example from literature. Oh my love's like a red red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh my love's like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. In this stanza, the poet compares the person he loves both to a rose and melody. In poetry, the concept of love is often compared to a rose and or a song. However, in this poem, Burns enhances those similes by comparing his love in actual person rather than an abstract concept to a rose and a song. This allows the reader to understand that the poet views the person he loves as a symbol of love itself. Difference between metaphor and simile It can be difficult in some instances to distinguish between metaphor and simile as literary devices. Both are figures of speech designed to create comparisons. In fact, simile is a subset of metaphor. However, they are distinguished by the presence of one of two words like and as. Metaphors create direct comparisons without using either of these words. Similes feature either like or as in making a comparison.